If everything you did and all of this astrology, the question is, what am I supposed to be learning here? That's the soul's question. I am a student of life. This is the soul. This is your rising sign, whatever your rising sign is. I'm a student of life and I'm here to learn. And I'm humbled because I know I'm goofy. I'm the first one to admit I'm goofy. That's the first step, admitting humbly. I can't quite get it right, but I'm doing the best I can. And the place where I'm doing the best I can is really good. It's not bad. It's the best I can do and I'm giving it all I have. And the most important part is my heart's open. That's the promise. That's a soulful life. But if your heart's not open, you look at old what's her name or what's his name or your dad and you go, I guarantee you they're going to send you them next time. So be careful who you, end that, who you have that energy with. It's incomplete because those people stick to you like Velcro. They follow you around like flies on you know what. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want that to happen. You don't want them following you around in your next lifetime. Like you make an amends to your mom and dad and you go when they're dead. I'm so thankful. Bye-bye. Completion. And all those mean things I said while you were alive, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can we do okay in the next life? How about we not do the next life? Just carry on. It's been a pleasure. But that only happens when your heart's open. As soon as there's a little crypt, you know, this, you can see it when I'm working with someone and I find out what was the relationship that happened during your, one big question I asked, the last relationship you were in, tell me about it. And they go, oh, you want to hear about that story? And if they start going, and I say, how long ago? Oh, it was seven years ago. And you're still singing that song? And you haven't forgiven them yet? Well, good luck, because they're coming back. Whether it looks like them or a new form of them, likely you're going to have to learn the lesson again. Well, that gets them all excited. Then they start listening. What do you mean learn the lesson again? What did you tell me to do? Tell me, tell me, tell me. So it's the motivation that God or life uses is the crisis or the pain is what draws our attention to healing. What if we chose to get healed without pain? There's a novel idea. What if you chose to stay awake without the alarm clock waking you up? And that's why we wake up in the morning, we do meditation, or we do prayer, or we do yoga, or we do, you know, exercise. Because we're praying, let this body be a vehicle for spirit. I promise, I'll be good, be nice to me. That's how I think of it. I'm like, don't hit me, don't throw things, no, no alarm clocks. I promise I'll wake up. I really try my best to stay, and as soon as I feel myself getting like, I turn on the question, what am I supposed to be learning here? 